Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Test 2 Plus again today. This is episode 2 of 5 in our series on breasts. I am Trace, and this is my friend Amy Title helping me out today. Hi, Amy. Hi. Hi, everyone. So, we're talking a bit about breasts, and yesterday we talked about you know what they're made of, how they're constructed, and also what happens to them over time. But we just started to touch on moobs. Man boobs. And boobs. And why yep. men even have breast tissue. We do have breast tissue in here. Even if you're completely flat chested, even if you're a bodybuilder and it just seems like it's all muscle, there is still breast tissue in there. Mm -hmm. The reason being, all fetuses are female. All of them. Which is so interesting that we all start out exactly the same, developing the same way, and at some point that Y chromosome that indicates a male takes over and the male characteristics start developing. Mm -hmm. So men and women have all the same structures and tissues and everything in the breast area. It just doesn't develop the same way with men as it does with women. Right. All humans have the potential to have breasts. In the case of women, the breasts are triggered to develop at some point in their you know, growth process during puberty, and men have you know nipples we have all of the things that women have and we just don't have enough estrogen to develop those tissues during puberty and during puberty those hormones come out of the brain and they start changing the body you know get hair in funny places and all start those, liking people and yeah the secondary um, sex crazy. characteristics so as that happens what really it comes down to is a mature ductal tree which is inside of the breast right which is effectively the pathway that milk uses to move through the tissue out through the nipple so that a woman can feed her young mm -hmm. and it comes down to a hormone called prolactin and that is the hormone that causes women to lactate yeah women have actually two times the prolactin all the time you know you, you would have Compared twice as much yeah. as anybody else but during pregnancy or immediately after rather it can increase 10 times more than normal causing Causing women to lactate. Although, under extreme circumstances, which is so cool, so interesting, men can actually lactate. It it's, doesn't work as well because their ductal tree isn't developed. It was never given the ability to develop by puberty, but it can happen. Yeah. Yeah. The POWs in World War II were found to lactate because they were so stressed out from starvation. And that lactation was basically a hormone inhibition that caused the lactation to begin and we started to think oh my gosh men can lactate too it comes back to you know the same biology it's super interesting it's just not as efficient which is a bit of a problem because cleaning out those milk ducts and actually getting all of the milk out of a breast is really important. Not only does it hurt a woman to have milk is stuck in the breast that is not mm -hmm. cleared out but there are a lot of other reasons that a woman should be breastfeeding and should be pumping to clear out milk from her breast. Yeah. Breastfeeding can actually save $13 billion annually, according to the journal Pediatrics. Like, you mean like saving money because I don't have to go to the grocery store or like a different kind of saving money? Well, that might be part of it, but it's actually because babies don't have immune systems. If you think about it, mm. a baby inside the womb is inside the mother's immune system. And as soon as that baby is out into the world, it doesn't have the same protection. So one of the ways a mother passes her immune system to the baby is through breast milk. That actually makes a lot of sense. You know, human breast milk contains 700 different types of bacteria, according to the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. And that bacteria helps establish a baby's immune system. It gives you know us powers to fight off illness and that fighting of the illnesses can help save lots of money. So that 13 billion dollars isn't saved in food, it's saved in health care costs. costs. You don't have babies coming in with obesity, with you know various respiratory illnesses, you don't have babies coming in and having worried about SIDS. Like there are all sorts of different things that breastfeeding, yeah. aside from building immune systems, can do, but it's it's all back to medical costs, which right. is so interesting. Scientists even think that it can help establish establish the baby's metabolism and prevent diseases like asthma. Which is a pretty strong reason to breastfeed. And it's mm -hmm. not just your baby's physical health to worry about, there's also brain development. A study published from Brown University found that by two years old, babies who had been fed breast milk exclusively for at least three months had more growth in the area of the brain that controls language, emotional function, and cognition. Wow. And compare that to formula-fed babies. Breast milk-fed babies actually performed better on tests of motor development and visual acuity. Also, researchers found that when uh, breastfeeding moms spent 15 minutes a day laughing, one of 
my favorite things to do, although I don't breastfeed, it produces more melatonin in their milk, and that helps the baby to relax, which makes a lot of sense. You know, that extra melatonin can relieve allergies. It can deal with eczema a little better. The melatonin also, you may recognize from some of our videos over on DNews about sleep, is actually part of the sleep system. So maybe it helps the baby to sleep at night. I don't know if that's true, but it seems like that would make sense. And I do not have a baby, but I can imagine that any mother would love to have a baby that sleeps just a little bit better. Yeah. <laughs> Probably, that's true. So we've talked a bit about the construction of breasts. We've talked about the evolution of them over time and why we even have them from, you know, like a biological perspective. But what about social connections to breasts? You know, that's a big one. Breasts are used now in a variety of different things that they didn't used to maybe be used for. Like primates don't have advertising, so they don't really have <laughs> the same Very problems true. that we do when it comes to breasts. So we'll talk about that a little more tomorrow. Come find us on Twitter. You can find me at Trace Dominguez. You can find Amy at AST Vintage Space. Thanks for watching Test 2 Plus, and we will see you tomorrow. Wow.